Hello everyone. Today topic is to understand how to transfer the file or copy the file and folder from Windows to Linux server. In this video we are going to see two methods for copying the file. First would be through SCP and second would be through WinSCP. Now the full form for SCP is secure copy and for WinSCP it's a Windows secure copy. So in this session we will be needing WinSCP that has to be downloaded. Also we need one working VM Linux and also the putty session for it. You need to download the putty session. If you don't know how to download WinSCP and putty session, let's see first that. This is the official website for downloading WinSCP. Now this link has been given in the description. You need to click on this link and after opening the page you need to click on download WinSCP. Once you click on Win download WinSCP, it will be downloaded within one or two minutes, and you have to install your WinSCP. It's very simple to install, just you need to click next, next, next. That's it. Now, this is the official website for putty.org, and you just need to click here. Now, this link has been provided in the description. After that, first you need to log in in your Linux machine through Putty. Now my IP is 106 and my username is Tideway. I'm giving password. Here it is. Now I am in the temp folder. After that, you have to decide whether uh, which file has to be copied from your desktop to the Linux machine or the folder you can copy from your desktop or to the Linux machine. After that, you need to click on cmd and open the command line interface once you open the command line interface now you have to go in the path where your folder or your file is safe now the path of folder where my file is safe is on desktop i am going in desktop here it is now what i've decided that i have to transfer my sample.xml file and this temp folder i cannot see any file related name as a sample.xml file now let's see how to transfer it scp then your file name sample.xml then your username of your linux machine at the rate your ip address of your linux machine then colon and in which folder you want to transfer just you need to click on enter you have to give your linux machine ip at or password now let's see whether any sample xml file has been copied or here it is sample xml file now this was a pretty easy now we have done for one of the file .xml. Same you can do for any file, paint, any word, or any CSV file or any PDF, whatever you want. So after that, now I want to transfer SAM folder. In SAM folder, I am having one troubleshooting doc which consists of word file. Then I have an application called as a you know, Chrome setup PDF, then a zip file and also one video now i have to transfer this file to same similarly in the same location let's see whether i am having sam folder now here i cannot see any kind of a sam folder now let's see how to do it again scp 
now here you have to enter hyphen rv then the sam folder name the user name tight way at the rate its ip address and in which folder you want to transfer you have to give your password for tightway and it's getting transferred now let's check validate whether it has been transferred or not and here it is your sam folder let's see all things has been copied here it is chrome setup pdf then uh, there are the uh, there were the two zip file then troubleshooting doc where one of the folder and also one video file so this is the simple method we don't have to install anything like uh, any application to transfer or to copy the file now let's see how to transfer or copy file from your linux machine to your desktop windows of your laptop whatever it is okay before that let me delete this sample file and also the sam folder let's go on the command line now there is some kind of a small change scp then your tideway username at the rate 192.168.0.106 then your colon then your temp this is the folder now this is my source okay i have logged in in tideway I, I will be logging in the tideway on the user at the rate this is the ip address and it will be checking the path it's temp under temp folder there is a file called as sample.xml that we have to copy if you can see here i want to copy sample.xml file from the linux machine to my desktop and on my desktop i don't have any sample.xml uh, file okay now where exactly you have to copy now i want to copy on my desktop only this is my desktop path and i need to click on enter need to give the IP, oh, password for it now let's see here it is my sample file has been generated same let's see for how to copy or transfer the folder from linux to desktop or windows same thing as cv here you have to add hyphen rv then tideway then the ip address colon then the path it's in temp then sam folder and where exactly I have to paste it on the desktop let's enter till now I there is no file called as an SAM folder now I'm giving my password here it is So this is one of the method through which we can easily transfer the file from desktop to Linux server and from Linux to desktop. Now the second thing is about the win SAP. You, you need to double click on this and you need to click on the login. Here the IP has been changed. You have to enter your latest IP or your working IP or your server IP where the Linux machine is up and running 192.168.0.106 and you need to click on yes username is tideway password is 123 
okay here it is now what i have to do so this is my desktop and this is my temp folder in my linux machine so let's do one thing let's open the temp in temp let's first of all delete this sam folder also the sample xml file now currently i don't have anything let's see now i have to transfer my file from my desktop sample.xml file in my linux machine either you can do like that sample.xml file or you can just copy and paste it here it is sample let's say in the putty session here it is sample and sample.xml again i will be deleting this too sample folder sample now let's see after deleting the sam folder and sample.xml we could not find anything here now i am transferring the sample.xml as well as a sam folder so and this is how we can easily transfer or copy the file from desktop to linux machine through winsap through sap we don't need anything of application to get installed and through winsap we need winsap software or application through which we can easily transfer the file so if you like this video or if you think that this video is helpful for you so please do like and share and subscribe the channel If you have any kind of a doubt please do ask in the comment section we will do our best to resolve your query